here at the Residences at Dockside enjoying Philadelphia Magazine's Guide to Holiday Entertainment. We're here with Chef Jeffrey Power of Deterra Restaurant in Ambler, PA, and you are sharing with us a recipe that will be sure to wow our guests, guinea hen. Yes. Something different. It is something different. Uh, you know, guinea fowl is uh, it, it, it's similar to chicken, but it's, it's a, a more delicate flavor. It's a little bit gamier. Uh, it just requires a little bit more uh, finesse to cook as well. Okay. Uh, chicken. So we'll, uh, we'll start with our guinea hen. And the guinea hen, it, it's already cleaned up for us. Okay. Uh, we tie it up so it cooks nice and evenly. We wrap our string around. And where, sh where can we purchase a guinea hen? You can find them at uh, Reading Terminal Market. Okay. Uh, Whole Foods has them. Uh, or you can go online to uh, D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan, okay. It's something that we don't purchase often, possibly. Correct. Uh, what should we look for? Um, you want to make sure that it's just uh, one that the, the juices are, are nice and uh, nice and red and within mm -hmm. the bird. Of course, always check the date on the package to make sure that it's, you know, it, it's current. You want to season pretty heavily. And then we're going to rub it with olive oil. And why do we rub it, rub it with olive oil? Uh, just to help make the skin nice and crispy. Uh, we'll take our bird, we'll put it right in our roasting pan, mm -hmm. and we'll go into the oven. And what is next, Chef? Okay, so we're going to start uh, the rutabaga puree. I have my, uh, my saute pan set at a medium-high heat. And we'll use, we'll start with some shallots. Good. A little bit of garlic. And we'll add a little bit of butter as well. And we'll start to sweat out the shallots and garlic. And you want them to be nice and translucent? Translucent, okay. yeah. And so you are situated, Deterra is situated in downtown Ambler, PA. Correct. And what kind of cuisine do you offer uh, at the it's restaurant? It's like contemporary American cuisine. It's heavily influenced with European technique. Mm -hmm. Some uh, Italian influences, some Spanish influences. So there's a lot of war. leeway to be creative. It does, yeah. Our shallots and garlic is sweated out a little bit. We're going to add our rutabaga now. And we're going to allow this to, uh, to sweat out and cook for probably another four or five minutes. Okay, very good. While this is cooking, we will uh, start to prepare our, uh, our mushrooms and our chestnuts. Okay. Again, in a saute pan. Uh, it's over, over high heat. Um, I added some olive, olive oil, and then we have our fresh chanterelle mushrooms here. So these are chanterelles, these and, are chanterelles. You, and you have some chestnuts. And these are here. chestnuts as well. These have already been cut up. Great, and you can buy these whole in the store. Correct, yeah, you can buy them whole, um, unshelled. I would recommend trying to find something that's already been taken out of the shell because they're very difficult to deal with. Okay, chef, so when the rutabaga has cooked to your liking, what, what, do you, what liquid do you add to okay, it? Okay, first we'll add a little bit of white wine to it. Okay. Just deglaze for a little extra flavor. And then we add a little bit of chicken stock to that as well. Okay. From here we'll, uh, we'll increase our heat and bring this up to a simmer. When okay. that, as it's coming up, we'll add some fresh bay leaf. It's time for our and herbs. Time. Whenever we're cooking mushrooms, uh, we want to have a nice hot pan. And we'll let this simmer for a minute. Okay. We'll season with salt and pepper right away. Our mushrooms are getting close. We're now going to add our chestnuts. All right. And we'll let those rest a little bit as well. Okay. What a nice side dish. Chestnuts and mushrooms. Delicious. Another unique side dish. Okay. So our guinea hen is. Ah, it's all we cooked go. now, so we're going to pull it out of the oven and let it rest for a few minutes before we, we decide to, uh, to cut it up. Okay, so we remove the twine. Nice and crispy it skin. Nice I and can, crispy, yeah. I can hear it. Oh, it smells wonderful. Exactly. That's part of, you know, that's the reason we put the olive oil on there, so it makes the skin nice and crisp. Yeah. Okay. It makes a big difference. So we're going to start by removing the leg. Okay. Now, guinea hen's one of those birds where... You know, typically when people want to cook their bird until it's very, very well done. You mm -hmm. don't want to do that with guinea hen because it is, it's very lean. Okay. So if you, if you really overcook it, it's going to be very dry and not very pleasant. So, so uh, what was the time again on that? How long did we cook this at, for? At total, I would say 25 minutes, you know, would 25 be the, minutes. the absolute max. Yeah. Okay. Any certain uh, temperature we should... I would start at 450 degrees for okay. the first 10 minutes to make the skin nice and crispy. Okay. Then reduce your heat down to 350 degrees for the following 15 minutes. This is one portion, yeah. You have, you know, you have the drum, you have the thigh, and you Excellent. have the breast. Okay, okay. So we have some of our finished rutabaga puree. We'll take some of our mushrooms and our chestnuts. Oh, look how beautiful Nice and greasy and, and roasty. Mm. Thigh, and leg, mm. just a little bit of the juice. Chef, it looks fabulous. Right, thank you very much. Mmm, really packed with flavor. It really is, yeah. Little bird, it's packed 
with great, great flavor. Yep. What a wonderful dish. Thank you Thank so you much for much. sharing your tips with us and making our holidays extra special. Thank you so much for having me. Chef Jeffrey Power from Deterra Restaurant. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.